Hello everyone, my name is Albert, also known as Banshee, and we are getting started for match number one of a new league. We're running a different type of list, kind of a goofy list that I decided to um, come, come up with. And we have won the die roll, and I hope you guys enjoy the mini deck tech. For this league, we're running a list that I'm calling Spicy Taxes, and that's because a little bit of red that we have thrown in there. Um, we're doing red with a Chroma Angel of Fury, but we actually don't have any red lands. The point of it is, we can pay three to use her morph ability, put her onto the battlefield, and then flip her over with cards like Touch the Spirit Realm, Flicker Wisp, and Ephemerate. And here's another spot to focus on. I'm not running Giver of Runes, I'm using Ephemerate as a protection spell, as well as a value spell. And then of course I got my regular taxes pieces, Esper Sentinel, Thalia, Skyclave, Solitude, Aether Vial, and the Stoneforge package. And then another little thing I threw in there, which I've been continuing to throw in there, is Urza Saga. It's a great card. Um, it wins games out of nowhere. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the list and enjoy the game. Okay, we are back. We are checking out our hand. We have nothing to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and mulligan. We don't have any turn one plays, turn two plays. This is decent. We have uh, Esper Sentinel, Thalia, Skyclave. We're going to keep this. And I'm actually going to put the Cauldron Complete back. Um, as you guys saw from the deck tech, this is very, very much a just straight flicker taxes list um, where we want to mess with our opponent by just literally maybe flickering at chromas, doing all kinds of dumb stuff, um, using ephemerate as a protection spell as opposed to, oh, cavernous souls. Is this amulet titan? Beast. This is going to be am amulet titan. Oof. At least we have a ghost quarter. Okay, they have to return that back. That's fine. We're going to play Arthalia, and we're going to see what we can do. Okay. I'm going to lead with Urza Saga. I know Ghost Quarter is probably pretty good in this, lit, in this matchup. We have one guy who literally wins every event in my LGS playing Amulet Titan. I only got to play against him once, so... I don't know how, how well off I'll be. Let's see what our opponent does. They have two mana standing. They can play their little, I don't know, Cabin of Souls. Not like we're going to counter anything. Okay, that's pretty cute. At least we can eat the Dryad. How many extra, they can play an extra land. So they can, yeah, they got something else they can play. Um, I guess is they'll drop down... Another balanced land. Okay, Gruel Turf. Sure. You know, oh, it just says everything. Okay, cool. It's my turn. As much as I would usually like to be able to take up my Saga and activate it to create the little dudes, I think we really have to just start eating stuff. Let's see, they're on four mana, so they're one mana away from getting themselves a Titan. I'm going to swing here, because pretty much when they get a Titan down, it's over for us. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, of course, they're blocking Thalia. That makes sense. Oof, what does this Gruel Turf do? I don't even... Why is it? Oh, it's Vesuva as a Gruel Turf. Okay, Bajuka Bog. Cool. They're going to exile a card from our graveyard. I don't even know what we have in there. Next turn, if we don't draw anything decent, we're going to actually end up ghost quartering our opponent. Another Grazer. Cool. These things are obnoxious blockers. This is probably Titan Shift, if they're doing a bunch of red mana related stuff. Cool. It's our turn. Ooh, an Ephemerate. That's pretty good. Um, I need two mana to access Ephemerate. I'm going to say okay to tap this for just a generic. Oh, man. 
going to grab Aether Vial. I'm going to play Ghost Quarter. We're going to say OK. Whoops. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And I'm just going to swing in with everything. They can block whatever they want. I don't care. Um, we can blow up one of their things, which is awesome. I'll take them down one life at a time. Hopefully, they play. They don't play an amulet because I don't have an answer for that at the moment. Um, hopefully, they're playing like a. They're playing an amulet, aren't they? Or uh, not amulet? Freaking titan, whatever the stupid card's called. Okay, sure. They get to search their library for a card. I'm guessing they're going to put a Valka in. Wouldn't that make the most sense? Double Urza Saga. Oh my word. Um, yeah, that's fine, I guess. This must be some, like, kind of jank build. Let's see what I draw. I'm just glad they didn't give it haste, and I'm glad they're not punching my face. Okay, another Bajuka Bog from our opponent. Exiling Art or a Saga. That's mean. Okay. I'm guessing they know they can just... Those Sagas are going to be really powerful. If I could land a Solitude, that'd be really powerful. We're waiting on my opponent. Okay, we got Cauldre complete. That's not gonna help us out right now. We are gonna go ahead and play our Horizon Canopy. I'm gonna activate Ghost Quarter. I'm gonna sack the Saga. It's fine if they get a basic. We're not going to attack either. Two Saga tokens is tough to deal with. One is kind of like a... Eh. Summoner's Pact. Okay. A dryad. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I kept Ephemerate up. Okay. We're going to Ephemerate target our, our Skyclave. And we're going to say thank you for playing that. Um, let's go. We're going to exile this dryad. They can have their, what is it, a 3-4? A 3-3, three, three, I mean? Sure. I'm not even going to target anything. Okay. Okay. Simic Growth Chamber. They're going to put something back into their hand. I don't know what they just put back there. I never know what's going on with this deck. Okay. I'm tired. Passing my opponent. I'm going to take some damage, and I'm fine with that. Oh, my word. Okay, Ephemerate. I'm going to put that on the stack. And Ephemerate's not going to have a target. Yes. Um. Okay. 
Um, no. It's going to cost one more. There's no point. Oh, my word. Well, there's a planes. We're going to pop it. Pop the horizon canopy to draw a card. Oh, my gosh. Like a freaking turn too late. Um, say okay. We're not going to attack. We're going to need to stay back on blocks. Lucky for me, I can get a cauldron complete down. They're going to pay their four, no problem. I'm guessing they're going to grab an Amulet of Vigor with the uh, Saga. Yep. Okay. Cool. Because once they have that Amulet Vigor, they kind of just pop off. Okay. That's what I thought. I don't think we can win here. I know Cauldre can kind of trade with some of these things. Okay. There's someone just pacting. Yeah, there's nothing we can do there. We need a lot of instant speed removal to fight this match. I feel like this deck used to be so much better against uh Wait, how much damage can they deal? Okay, they're gonna kill that. So three, six, twelve. They're gonna be twelve damage right now. I think they can win right now. Cause they can hit that. They're gonna play Vesuva. Copying the Dryad, or the Valakit, which will double Valakit. Then kill both these things. And then when Prime Time swings in with everything else, right? They just defeated me. Because it's whenever this attacks, I can stay alive for one more turn. It's always the Amulet Titans, Titan players. Ah, uh, yep. We're gonna do it. Oh wait, I'm dumb. They put two lands into play. We're gonna concede. <laughs> oh my word. We get to begin sideboarding. Hmm. Path to exile is very good. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Can't other in their hand. I have no sideboard cards against this match. Maybe Batter Skull's a good bring in. I need my removal in this match. We're gonna be on the play. Oof. I'll cut a Skyclave. Another Skyclave. Um I'll run it back like that. Skyclave is really only good for eating up amulets. Um, we want the die roll. Yeah, we're going to go first. Now, this is a pretty capable hand. We're going to keep this. We can get Cauldre Complete down fast. We have an answer. I'll say this is pretty decent. We're going to lead planes. Let's go... Gonna yield to our opponent's end step. Awesome. Okay, so it's gonna take up to two and they can't activate it, so that's fine. Let's go Stoneforge. Next turn, I can both hit their Urza Saga. Okay, let's grab Cauldra. Maybe I can pump out a win right now. Just remembering it. I should have waited. Oh well. I tried. Okay. That ticks up. Awesome. 
I have three ghost quarters. So that's something. Let me think. If I ghost quarter this, yeah, there's nothing they can do. Boop. Sure. I like how we have matching lands. It's very cute. It sucks that I have cauldron in my hand though. That's my own fault. I should have waited a turn so I could have at least ephemerated. Short creature, it's, it's the one that gives haste, right? That's fine. I will eat all your dryads for lunch. Sure. I'm going to bounce something. Okay, it's my turn. Let's go Urza Saga. And we're going to cast our Skyclave Apparition, and we're going to eat their uh, Dryad. Because that's going to be the most obnoxious thing they have. Next turn, I can play my Ghost Quarter. I can eat their Simic Growth Chamber. Or I can just hold my Ghost Quarters until they play Velikuts. Tireless Tracker. They'll get good really fast. Okay. It's, it's amazing. This deck has so many different answers and so many things it can do. It's pretty incredible, honestly. Ooh. Let's go Ghost Quarter. I'm going to swing in with the Skyclave. Maybe they won't block me. Draw a card. Ah! They're gonna block me. That really sucks. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. Uh, I have the mana. Okay. That was really stupid of me. Shouldn't have done that. I guess I gotta use my fem right now. I'll slow them down a turn. No, I don't have to do that. Let's cancel. Let's go undo. Actually, yeah, I don't want them to have two things. We're going to FM right now. Probably a bad move. I don't care. Doesn't matter what order they go in. Boop. Stops them from drawing cards, though. I did not know they got plus one, plus ones every time they drew a card, though. Or whenever they sacrifice a clue, maybe? I don't know how it works. Okay. Passing it to our opponent. I'll take three. That doesn't bother me. Okay. I'm not going to fall for it this time. We're going to create ourselves a clue. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll draw a... Oh, wait. I don't have my ephemerate anymore. Okay. This is going to rebound... Um, we're not going to target anything. Nope. Nice try. Horizon Canopy, this is going to take up to two. We are going to activate Saga. We're going to create ourselves a Construct token. We're going to say, okay. I might as well just, I don't know if I should double Ghost Quarter those two things. What I need more. I'm feeling Aether Vial right now. Okay, Ghost Quarter as our land. I'm going to say okay. We're going to smack our opponent for five damage. Maybe we can pull this one out. I don't really know. If I can take a round off him, I'll be happy, honestly. Where are they going to be at? That's six total. Oh my gosh. I hate that card. That thing is stupid. I'd hate it with a dumb Lotus combo deck. 
Okay, they gained two life. That's fine. Oh my gosh, they just ramped out of hand. I need solitude. Most of their deck... I'm trying to think. Well, they, they usually play like 30-something lands. I just don't want them to have a uh, an answer because usually they just bounce that back. Two more they have to put back? Okay. So we're dealing with an 8-8. Eight, eight. That's not annoying. I guess they will have to discard down. Thank goodness they were not playing Amulet of Vigor at this point. Or they don't have one out at this point because that would be a, a beating. Dismembering, okay. Sure, that's fine. Uh, man, it's late. I'm tired. I'm probably going to have to continue the rest of this league tomorrow or something. Okay, we get to take up our Aether Vial. And we get to sit here with our fingers crossed that we... I'm going to play it. I'm going to crack it. We don't have any answers at the moment. I need something. Another land. Wow. I think this is going to be game for us. How many times do I get to draw? Every time that thing triggers, right? As many times as I want. Another dryad from our opponent. And the radiant fountain. They're going to gain their life. They're going to play an expedition map. They're going to crack it. My guess is they are going to grab a Volica Molten Pinnacle. Yep. How did I know? They're putting it down. We're going to have our Skyclave get hit for two damage. Oof. All they have, let me think, all they have to do is play a Titan, hit my Construct. Yeah, they won if they have Titan, which this is what they're about to do. They're about to transmute that into... Titan. They're going to shoot my construct, shoot my face, put two lands onto the battlefield. And if they just grab a couple of vowel cuts, it just goes off. Oh, wait. Yeah, prime time enters the battlefield. Okay. There's nothing we can do there with no instant speed removal, unfortunately. Oof. Oh my gosh. I'm just glad MTGO does it all for me. <laughs> okay, let's just do this. I don't think we can win here. Let's just pop the first one. It doesn't make too much of a difference. Oh my gosh, another mountain comes in, so they get two, two more Valakut triggers. That was so dumb. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Is it three damage? Oh my gosh, yeah, we're dead. GG, thank you guys for joining me. 
hope to see you guys in the next video. Hopefully we don't lose so bad every game we play. Just like the last league, we're not starting off on a good fit. But we'll see how we go on a good foot. Anyways, thank you guys. If you like what I do here, please consider subscribing to the channel as well as liking and sharing the videos. It really does help. And if you do this with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure that they would appreciate it as much as I do.